اوكي السلام آه عليكم هلو ماي ستودنتس ويلكم باك تو اور فيفر سبجكت اي سي تي ليتس ستارت اور ليسون توداي اند ذيس از مي مستر ابو بكر حسن اند ذيس ار ماي كونتاكتس نمبر اف يو نيد اني هيلب اور سبورت ناو اون توداي ليسون وي ار جوينج تو نو اباوت هاو كان وي كونكت تو ا نتورك سم اكزامبلز سم وايز تو كونكت يور ديفايسز تو ا نتورك Now let's start with the first topic, which is types of network connection. What do you mean by types of network connection? That means if you need to connect many devices according to con to the connection between these devices and the network, we will have some types. The types or these network connection types, they are three. We have three main ways to do that. Number one, it's wired. Wired means you are going to use cables. Number two, wireless. That means there is no cable. You are going to use the wireless technology or communication on devices uh, using the antenna. And finally, to connect these networks by using mobile phone lines or uh, or mobile phone numbers. So these are the main ways to connect your network. Now let's explain them one by one. We are going to start with the wired one. Now you see in the picture this is how can we connect a network as a wired. This is the socket, the NIC network interface card inside the device, and the black object here is the cable. Now we plug in this cable in this socket. Now your computer is connected to the network. So this wired or this type of network connection, which is wired. used for desktop computer and some laptops most of the desktop computer they uses the wire and some laptops on the laptops you will find the socket to plug in the cables now when you connect or plug in this computer uh, plug in the cable into your computer your computer will be connected to the network by what by cable so because of that we call it wired because in this type of network connection your devices will be connected together using a cable and remember when you connect your computer with a cable you will face a problem there will be a problem what's this problem it's difficult to move a connected computer from place to another it's not impossible but it's a little difficult difficult because your computer is connected to a cable sometimes the cable will be short than you need shorter than you need or longer than you need now we are still talking about the wireless or this is the second type of network connection which is wireless you see in the picture this is the shape of the wireless connection <coughs> when we use the wireless connection remember use this wireless communication means there is no cables will be connected to your devices there will be no cables so you are just going to uh, connect your computer using the wireless communication technology and remember data sent between the computer and wireless access point wirelessly now what's the access point or where wireless access point these are the points which used to connect your devices to other devices so your data will be sent between computer and the wireless access point wireless wireless means there is no cables according to the technology now remember example for these devices which uses according to the devices which you are using examples for devices which uses the wireless communication we have laptops we have tabs we have smartphones all these devices connect to networks using a wi-fi so the wi-fi is the device which can help our devices to be connected by wireless communication you are not going to have a cable or a network uh, the, uh, cable in your tabs or smartphones so you have only the way to communicate them using the wireless communication now on the wireless communication remember it's very easy to move a connection
connected computer from place to another why because there is nothing real can limit the movement of these objects it's connected wirelessly using the air that means you can move from place to another place very easy so using a wireless access point in public place we call it hot spot in some places like some restaurants schools universities they may use a wireless access point in public that means everyone can use these devices to access the internet in this case we call these wireless access points we call them hot spots okay now finally let's move to the last network communication which is mobile phone now on the mobile phone we are going to use a mobile or a phone number so as to build our communication or network communication so this mobile phone or this network communication can be connected or these devices can be connected to the internet using a mobile phone connection you can see nowadays you can activate your service of internet when you act when you made this or when you activated this service you can access the internet using your mobile phone or you can create an access point from your device so as to connect your mobile to a laptop so how did your laptop connected to the internet by your mobile phone so the mobile phone is a network communication it can help us to access the internet now this connection can be made anywhere especially you uh, it needs a strong uh, mobile phones signals okay because when you have a weakness of these signals for the mobiles it's very hard to access the internet now by this way we finished talking and explaining all the three main types of network communication now let's talk about another examples in our real life how can we connect to the, a network our title here is how to connect to a network in this part we are going to have some examples some examples for networks in our real life so how can these networks can be accessed by us these examples are number one we are going to talk about school network at your school how can you access to the network and the second example is the home network when you bring a router to your home and you need to access the internet how can we connect to this internet so we have two types of networks as example we are going to know how can we connect to these networks first we are going to start with the school network okay in the school network many devices are connected together to access these devices and doing your work how can we access this network we can access it by giving you or any student a username and a password so this is the way to access the school network by using a username and a password so you can connect or log in by a wired or wireless connection remember whatever your network communication type if it is cables or wired or wireless it doesn't matter but if you need to access the network you have to write your username and your password correctly and then you can access the network now let's talk about the second type which is home network what do you mean by home network home network we are going to build it in our homes to access the internet on this type we are going to use a router so you use, we use a router to create our home network now using this route in our home how can it give us the ability to access the internet or the network when you bought a router at your home or bring a router to your home how can you access the internet to do that you can connect or log in by the network name and the network security key and we all knew that whenever you have a mobile phone and there is a router somewhere at your home at your school whatever if you decide to access the internet what are you going to do you are going to activate the wireless communication or Wi-Fi you are going to search for the routers or the available Wi-Fi networks you are going to pick a network name and then you will be asked
also enter the right security key if you read the security key correctly now you are connected to a home network using the router okay when you bought the router or when you bought a new router where can you find the network name or the network security key you will find it or it will be found in sticker in the router this sticker will be found or will be found at the bottom of the router so read the sticker you will find your device name you will find your security key and so on now we talk about the type of network communication we talk about some examples of networks which you can find it at home or at school now if you've used some networks as we explained previously you may you may face some problems so these problems how can we solve it now in this part we are going to talk about how to solve network problems so solving network problems first of all you have to stay safe and follow these rules in general stay safe means don't do things that may get risk for you okay we have some some rules we have some instructions we have to follow it so as to avoid to be in troubles or to solve some network problems now let's talk about these rules number one whenever you use a computer switch off power points before or after connecting devices remember you have to switch off the power points okay so when you switch them off before or after connecting devices what does that mean if you decide to remove to go after you finish you have to put off them if your devices are connected or not it doesn't matter because already there is no power can enter your uh, office or place so you have to switch off the power point another rule to stay safe and to solve your problems don't open the computer case because you don't know how to solve this question because you are your knowledge about this part is very low you don't have enough knowledge so as to solve problems inside your computer so don't open the computer case number three don't use force to connect or disconnect cables or some parts make it very easy because they are very small parts so you may lose some parts some connects some argues and so on <coughs> so always don't use force to connect or disconnect the cables or some parts okay finally ensure the devices are disconnected before moving moving them if you decide to move your screen your desktop computer from a table to another table or from office to another office make sure that they are disconnected from their power points because if you didn't do that and you took them immediately you they may fail down which make them broke and so on so finally this is very important don't move heavy devices like big printers desktop and so on <coughs> so what are these these are some rules which you are we can follow it so as to stay safe and to make everything at the right side now let's talk about another type of problems which can face <coughs> our networks now these examples of networks we are going to talk about if you face some problems while you are accessing the, inter uh, the network we said that we have two types of networks or we talk about two examples of network school network and home network so if you face some problems on your username and password what are you going to do if you have or if your computer are connected to our network using wired or cables so the wired network how can we solve the problem and finally the wireless networks how can we solve these problems so this is what we are going to do to explain them yes and finally sorry the last point is about the home network using the router if you face some problems on this network that means if you cannot log into your network 
how can we solve these problems now we're going to explain them one by one let's start with the first problem which is if you face a problem in your username and password what are you going to do it's very easy you have always to check that you have the correct username and password there is no problem on this type of connecting the network unless you have uh, an incorrect username or password so always check that you took the right or the correct username and password and remember the password is a case sensitive in some applications of network the password should be sensitive what do you mean by case sensitive case sensitive means it can check the status of the letter if it is capital or small they are different capital A is different from or different from small a and so on in this case you have to write the password correctly <coughs> okay sometimes you may forget if you forget your password what are you going to do so if you forget it use the link or the option which is called forget password and then you can use your email when you communicate with the company to ask about your password they will send you the new password according to your username in your email so if you face a problem in your password you can use the forget password link or option and then you will be given the new password okay now let's move to the second type of network problems which is wired if you have a wired network how can we solve this problem I look at the picture you see there's a cable which connected to your computer now what are we going to do the problem with this time is very easy it's always you have to check your cable connection on your device on your or in the network point or network socket so always to solve this problem you have to check your cables if the computer network socket is flashing that means it's connected what does that mean when you connect the cable to your computer on the slot here on the socket of the network there will be a light very simple light very small light if it's flashing that means it's connected to the network otherwise that means there's a problem in your network connection so you have to check it most of the problems of the world of the world network it depends on number one you have to check the cable connected to your computer or you have to check the network point you are connected to so because your cable has two sides one side connected to your computer the other side to the network point so you have to check these sides of your cable check the cable connected to your computer or the cable which connected to your network point so this is how can we face these problems after you did that if there is any extra problem you have to tell the IT or the technician man to solve your problem now let's talk about the third type of networks which is the wireless network if you face some problems of this type of network how can we solve it <coughs> now it's very easy also if you are not connected to a network for example if you decide to access the internet using a, a Wi-Fi if you are not connected it's very simple try to check the enable of your connection try to check that this button is active if it is not active just click it or press it then you can be connected now finally let's talk about the home network problems if you bring a Wi-Fi to your home and all of you decide to access the internet and you face some problems here how can we solve it you see this is the shape of the router or the Wi-Fi which you can bring it at home and that's you bring your laptops now the connection between the computer and this Wi-Fi by the wireless communication so in this case what are we going to check when you connect to this Wi-Fi there is a network name and a security key so you have to check that you enter correct password or security key it's very important because these most problems are here <coughs> number two or the other check make sure that it's enabled or on because if it's not on 
even if you enter the correct password you cannot be connected and otherwise or other way to check imagine that you have a Wi-Fi at home but you cannot access it you make sure that you enter the right or the correct password and your icon is on to make sure if the network is connected or not check the others ask the other people ask the other friends if they are connected if they are connected that means you have still a problem if they cannot that means you have a problem on your Wi-Fi and so on okay so because of that you have to focus on on the home network problems which is can be built at home the basic checks which you are going to make it first of all you have to check that your router is plugged in the power socket why because when it's connected that means you can bring or connect to the internet uh, signal so your router will connect your devices to the internet the second is or the other check if you decide to check the network home all cables are connected to the router you must make sure that all the cables are connecting are connected to the router and then your router will wirelessly communicate with your devices and now focus if you did all the things if you are sure you press uh, the Wi-Fi button if you are sure that you enter the right code if you are sure that uh, the router is plugged in if you are sure that all the cables are connected if you are sure from all these steps but nothing happened in this case if everything fails reset the router that means restart it close it and then open it again so as to reset the settings and bring it to the default Thank you very much. That's all about our lesson today. See you next class, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.